Welcome to this episode of the Harpreet Singh Show. At this segment, we will talk about Mr. Brian Jarvis, who is the Vice President of Claims and ICBC. In the case of this country, there was a Punjabi dial claim line. Where did it come from? Where did it get the benefit of people? And what is it? Let's talk about this knowledge. Mr. Brian Jarvis, welcome to the program. Oh, thank you for having me. Thank you. So it's about a month or so since you started uh, uh, dial a line, Punjabi claim line. Yes. So uh, what was the idea behind starting this? Well, the idea was quite simple. We live in a very diverse uh, province. We uh, uh, realized over time that we have a lot of people who want to get in touch with us and understand what, what we're doing and sometimes have trouble with language. Uh, it's uh, not uh, um, something that you would not expect to see in, in a, uh, a, a multicultural city like ours. Mm -hmm. uh, we realized we had a, an opportunity there, so we thought that um, over time when we would give uh, people's opportunities to, to use translation services, it might be better to go to the next step right. and allow people to make the decision before they even contact us to contact us in their own language. So what happens, uh, uh, suppose there's an accident, let's take a scenario whereby uh, one is met with an accident and uh, there are two options. One is to just, uh, first of all, of course, you call the police and let them know whatever has happened. Mm -hmm. And the second thing is that you have to go to a claim center and tell about what all happened. So in this scenario, uh, how does this uh, new line help the people who speak Punjabi? Well, what it essentially does is it, it moves away from the old uh, process that we had whereby we would talk to someone on the phone when they're reporting their claim and then make a decision to bring in a translator. Mm -hmm. what, we're, what this thing does is it allows people to decide right off the bat that they would rather speak in their language, mm -hmm. in the Punjabi language, and they have the very first contact with us to report the claim in Punjabi. Right. So that's the difference, really. And as you said uh, before, also the people could bring in a translator and get uh, the services. So with this particular service, how is it different from that? Well, it, the, the main difference is the, the uh, customer is deciding okay. which language to, they speak into. As before, the person at ICBC would decide mm -hmm. whether or not the conversation was um, too difficult in, within, within the language, within trying to speak in English. So that right. was the real difference. And we've, we've come a long way. I mean, there was, wasn't that long ago that we didn't have any translation right. services. Right. So we've sort of evolved over time. We've gone from no translation services to one that is um, our choice right. to now one which is the customer's choice. Are there other communities also uh, you are thinking about bringing, like for example, the Chinese uh, community or other communities which are uh, living over here? Absolutely. And uh, we, we wanted to start with the, uh, the, the program that we felt was going to get the most uptake, mm -hmm. which is clearly the uh, the Punjabi line based on our historical uh, statistics around when we were using translation. Right. Uh, but the plan is as uh, we move forward in 2015 to expand this to Mandarin. Um, we have actually about 170 languages <laughs> that we can get <laughs> translations into. And I don't believe we're going to get there right. with all of them, but uh, uh, the, the main ones. The, the Depending on ones. the population. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and uh, our statistics clearly show us that Punjabi would be the, one, the best one to go first with. So it's been about a month as we started in the beginning that since you launched this service, how has been the response? It's actually been uh, quite good. Uh, mm -hmm. We are uh, probably about uh, 75 to 100 claims a week, mm -hmm. which is going to translate into... Uh, somewhere between three and 5,000 calls a year, which is uh, a large chunk of, of, uh, of phone calls and something that we're expect expecting to increase over time. But it's, it is uh, quite good right off the bat. Mm -hmm. So this uh, dial a claim service is one particular, uh, you know, of a of segment of a larger service which is being provided. What else is involved? Well, we're, we're doing a, a, a lot more on our website, mm -hmm. uh, allowing people to... Uh, uh, address uh, certain aspects of the, their questions within uh, within language. Uh, we are trying to uh, become um, a little more uh, um, uh, uh, understanding of what the, the community is, is uh, uh, looking for, focus groups, those type of things, to try and sort of find out what are the type of things that we can do to help our uh, uh, diverse multicultural communities. Right. Uh, Mr. Chavis, uh, when an accident happens, you're already confused and uh, you, you listen to lots of people and uh, whatever someone says, you try to project that forward. Now, in this confusion which is there, how do you feel that this claim a line service is helping the people? Well, this is exactly wh why we're doing it. I mean, it's a very stressful time. Mm -hmm. When you think about what happens in, a, in an accident, it's not something that's good. 
It's either, you know, you could potentially be injured or your, something happened to your car. Right. It's a very confusing piece. That you, mm -hmm. And you add to that a, uh, a business that not a lot of people know a great deal about. Right. Right, in, in terms of insurance. It's a very you know, complex uh, concept. So the idea around this was when we talked to our focus groups, um, we felt that there was some anxiety, some concern around, you know, people knowing what they should be doing, how they should be doing these type of things. And you add that, a language barrier mm -hmm, mm -hmm. makes it even more difficult. So the idea was to help sort of ease some of that uh, anxiety by providing an ability to speak in uh, the language that you're most comfortable with. Right. Another thing is, as you said, it's a stressful period, but also when a process, a claim process to be made, uh, lots of common myths are involved that uh, ICBC is going to give you the minimum, try to, you know, you have to extract the maximum. So lots of myths are involved. What are the common myths which you generally think which people have in their minds? Well, we see a lot of things. We uh, hear that um, uh, you, you won't get access to your benefits mm -hmm. unless um, you, are, uh, uh, you sign a, a great deal of documents, um, that we will force you to settle um, when you're not ready. Um, actually, one of the other interesting ones is, is that people tend to tell us that we try to make every accident 50-50, <laughs> so we can collect a deductible for it, right. and, the, and the reality is, is over 95% of our accidents are 100-0, right. right, where one person is totally at fault. But that's another one of the myths that's out there that we've heard in our focus groups mm -hmm. that uh, we really are trying to uh, dispel. Okay. And how does the claim process change when there is legal representation involved? Well, it, it changes uh, ostensibly uh, in, in, a, in the fashion that we are no longer al allowed to speak to the people directly. Mm -hmm. So we then have to, every, all the correspondence, all the communication goes through their, uh, the lawyer that has been selected to advocate on behalf of that person. Okay. And uh, while all this process is being done, again, as you said, one can simply call in that number uh, which will let us know where, a people, where the people can call and uh, you know, talk directly in case of an accident. But in case, once they have given a call and then they want some legal representation also, can that also be done? Absolutely. Uh, the, the people are free to get legal representation at any time. Mm -hmm. And all we're trying to do in this program is give people a ch a ch uh, give us a chance to speak to them. And it's certainly within their right to get legal representation for whatever reason they see fit. Right. And what we're trying to do here is just trying to uh, get people to give us a chance first. That's all. <laughs> okay. While uh, this is one service, you also talked about the website uh, where Punjabi language is offered. Are there any other services in Punjabi for the common person? Well, I think um, for the common person, uh, right now we have the translation service. Okay. Um, we are looking into opportunities in the future around maybe potentially doing other things, uh, around maybe potentially having a, a, a unit right. of people who speak, speak the language. Those uh -huh. are things that we've talked about over time. Right. Um, and uh, we're going to do these things in stages. So right now, that, that's what we're working on at this point. But there are certain things down the road, and as any good company would uh, uh, do, they would look at other opportunities to make themselves more accessible. Towards the end, what would be your message to those people who would like to give a phone call, but many a times, as we also talked about some of the myths, or there is some other thing in their mind and they feel that they will not get the right kind of representation if they talk directly to the ICBC, and there is a need for a legal representation, and any phone number where if they need some information, they can call. Well, I think uh, the, uh, um, the, the line, the, the Punjabi speaking line, is the, the first step. Mm -hmm. And again, it is more for people who are feeling a little bit uh, concerned. Um, and as that goes on, um, when, we have your, uh, uh, when we have people d discussing within their language, there's absolutely an opportunity for them to expand their questions. Right. And it, it, the one thing I think people need to understand is they should be feel comfortable of asking whatever they want. Whatever's confusing them, whatever they're having trouble with, mm -hmm. um, they should feel comfortable in asking for an explanation. And right. it's our job as a, um, uh, the provider of insurance with, as I said, a very sort of complex product <laughs> uh, for us to make sure that people do understand what's right. available to them. And no question is, is uh, inappropriate. I mean, we can, we can ask, uh, uh, you can ask whatever you want, and we can absolutely make sure that we give the answer. Now, we're not always going to give the answer people want. Uh, right. Sometimes there are things that, are that uh, you know, in terms of the contract or uh, the circumstances of each accident are always different, mm -hmm. but people should feel very comfortable to speak in their language and ask whatever they need to ask. That's wonderful. And any uh, telephone number where they can call if they need some more information? Uh, well, the, 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 the line is, is the one to call, or they can just call dial a claim. And if they call dial a claim, the regular number that people are very used to, to calling, uh, we can absolutely make sure that uh, we put them in place with someone who can help them. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Nice meeting you too. Thank, Thank you. you. आज ਦੇ ਇਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਵਿੱਚ ਬ੍ਰਾਂਡ ਜਾਵਸਨ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਜੋ ਪੰਜਾਬੀਆਂ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਖਾਸ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਕਲੇਮ ਲਾਈਨ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕੀਤੀ ਗਈ ਹੈ ਸਕਰੀਨ ਤੇ ਦਿੱਤੇ ਹੋਏ ਫੋਨ ਨੰਬਰ ਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਫੋਨ ਕਰਕੇ ਹੋਰ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਲੈ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਅਤੇ ਇਹ ਟੋਲ 
ਬ੍ਰਾਇਨ ਨੇ ਵੀ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਕਿ ਇਸ ਦਾ ਮਕਸਦ ਹੈਗਾ ਕਿ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਨੇ ਆਪਣੀ ਹੀ ਭਾਸ਼ਾ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਦੋਂ ਫੋਨ ਕਰਕੇ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰਨਗੇ ਤਾਂ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਸਵਾਲ ਪੁੱਛ ਸਕਦੇ ਨੇ ਨਾਲ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਮਿਥਸ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਕੀਤੀ ਕਿ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਮਿਥਸ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਨੇ ਜੁੜੇ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਪਰ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੁੱਖ ਤੌਰ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਇਹੀ ਮਕਸਦ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਜੋ ਕੁਝ ਹੋਇਆ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਸਹੀ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਨਾਲ ਉਸ ਦਾ ਨਿਪਟਾਰਾ ਹੋ ਸਕੇ ਲੀਗਲ ਰਿਪਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਵੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਲੈ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਪਰ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹ ਡਾਇਲ ਕਲੇਮ ਲਾਈਨ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਫੋਨ ਕਰਕੇ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਲੈਣਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਹੋ ਆਪਣੀ ਭਾਸ਼ਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਲੈ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਤੇ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਤਕਰੀਬਨ 1 ਮਹੀਨੇ ਤੋਂ ਇਹ ਜੋ ਸਰਵਿਸਿਜ਼ ਦਿੱਤੀਆਂ ਜਾ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਇਸ ਦਾ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਰਿਸਪੌਂਸ ਆ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਸੋ ਸਕਰੀਨ ਤੇ ਦਿੱਤੇ ਹੋਏ ਫੋਨ ਨੰਬਰ ਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਫੋਨ 